So another most in interesting feature of Selenium 4 is I can save my web page as a PDF file as well. I can, I can print it to a PDF file. So let's see how we do it. I'll create a new class for it. Test print to PDF. So lots of exciting features in Selenium 4. So let me paste this. And let's say uh, I go to selenium.dev and I'll try to print uh, the home page of this website in a PDF format. So how to do it? Uh, first, I'll change this to Chrome driver so that uh, the print method is available directly inside the Chrome driver class. So if I say driver.print, see I got this and it's asking me something uh, called as print options. So uh, print option, I need to create an object of this class that is print options. And there's a constructor that will be called. And this uh, actually, if you mouse over onto this, this returns me at PDF. So I'll be storing it like PDF, PDF equal to this. And in case you don't want to use uh, Chrome driver, you don't want to use Chrome driver, you want to use web driver, then you need to do a type casting with one of the class. Let me show it to you. I'll change this to web driver. Import this. And then it will ask you to add a cast. And this cast will be uh, via one of the class, which is called as prints page. So this prints page you need to add as a super type over here. You need to do a type casting with this class, right? Then uh, I need to define the path of my uh, file where I'll be storing that file. Basically, if we want to uh, save this, uh, like write it to a PDF file. So we need to call one of the call, one of the class called as files, and we need to call a method called as write. So from this, uh, there, there is a method uh, which accepts basically uh, two arguments over here. One is the output type, and the other one is uh, the path. So this path is uh, provided with the help of uh, paths.get. And this is where I'll be adding the path where I need to save this file. So I'll be saying this and this is like the root directory and uh, I name it as selenium.pdf file. And then uh, the output type we need to define for this. So output, output type dot it will be a base uh, it will be like first it has to be converted to bytes and then we need to call convert from base 64 png and in the string we actually need to pass this pdf file we need to get the content from the pdf file by saying pdf dot get content so these are the two lines that you actually need to add and then you need to add uh, the exception add throws declaration right so see print method uh, is what you need to call and it will give you the pdf file and then you need to write that pdf file to a particular address and the output type uh, should be converted from the bytes uh, and base 64 png and whatever content that uh, we are getting it will be converted into png and then will be mapped to the pdf file so that is how it actually works but let's see if, if uh, whatever that I've written is going to work or not. Let me run this and let's see what happens. And if you check over here, we got an exception. See the website launched and we got exception. And it's saying print to PDF is only supported in headless mode. So we need to run our browser in a headless mode so that uh like this feature is supported only in the headless mode and in headless mode no browser is going to launch right but headless mode uh again there are some uh new options implemented which is called as 
Chrome options. So we'll be talking about the browser option class as well. Initially, uh, prior to like Selenium 3.8, we used to handle these things using desired capabilities class, but everything is now moved to the browser options like Chrome option, Firefox options, edge options right and we can do ma many manipulations within the browser as well we can run the browser in a headless mode we can define the size we can maximize it initially before it launch by some of the uh, options available so i'm going to show you those things as well in the next lecture but let us fix this issue uh, using this chrome options and uh, let's see if we are able to get the pdf file generated and i'll be saying option dot it's very simple you need to add an argument called as headless over here that's it and then these options you need to provide it to your chrome driver class over here that's it so once you do this save it and then run it let's see what happens And see the execution completed and now we have chosen the root path so let's go back to our folder to the project refresh it and see we got a pdf file generated let us open this pdf file to see what content it contains And you can see the entire home page is printed in a form of a PDF file, right? If you want to validate, just go to selenium.dev and accept the menus. So other thing you can see Selenium automates browsers, that's it. And then you see all these things, you see uh, the sponsors, the news, right? And then donate to selenium project right so these are the things which are added as a pdf file so this is what another new feature new another interesting new feature of selenium 4 all right thank you